this up. Okay, just had to do some. So I'm live again just because videos like this always end up taking forever. So instead of junking up my phone with lots of video space, I just go live whether people want to watch it or not. Hey, Horsey Girl 22. I tried to text you, but I couldn't find it, so I'm sorry, but I'll try again. Um, but, uh, yeah. But I guess, as you will see, this is models I regret buying. And, okay, hood's gotta go. I was just trying to look cool, but it's not gonna happen. Um, hey. I can't see. <laughs> I've got bad eyes, can't see your name. Fee love. Um, does this road look like a racetrack? It's people. It's like a 15 mile an hour road on a very crowded street with people and kids and dogs and animals just in general. And these people fly through here like going 80 miles an hour. And sometimes I want to like be walking down the street and like elbow their car or something. So they think like they hit somebody and then like, like just fall out and be like, ah. Oh. I'd love to do that to somebody. Anyway, let's get into the Mazda Grip Vine. So, let's get started with the horse I used for the thumbnail, I suppose. Actually, I'll grab both of these guys. Sure, I'll sub. Um, so, first model I regret buying. Sorry about the light, it's really bad. I'll try to block it. So, <laughs> I say hi to Darcy too. This light is just hideous. Okay, so first model I regret buying is the Leopard Appaloosa Full. I've said this before on my other regret buying things because he was one of my first briars. So obviously that means that when I was buying him, I didn't know what I, like, I didn't. Like, I was just focused on getting my collection up, and I didn't really care what they looked like. And then when I got them, I thought he was adorable. But now that I have, I don't even know how many riders that you can see behind me. He's just in the mix, and he just doesn't go. By the way, none of these models are for sale. Um, but I don't know. There's, like, I, he is cute. I like his face and stuff, but there's just something... I don't know, his neck looks weird to me. Like, it's really long and thick and stuff. And his legs are weird. I just don't like vintages. That's what the problem is. So anytime I see a vintage, it's like, ew. What did I do with the other horse? I had two of them in my hand. Oh, he's over here. Um, And then next up is Footloose, who I got him for $8 at Briarfest. And I just thought he was super cute. Again, I just bought him because he's really dusty because I never use him. But, um, he is, um, he is, um, he's pretty cute. I love his face. I love his little, like, uh, marking that looks like a lightning bolt. Um, he's really weird, though, because he's got some in him that if you shake him, it rattles. I don't know. I love his little white foot that I never noticed he really had until like a month after I bought him. But, um, he's pretty cute, but I'm just like, the only reason I say I regret buying him is because I feel like I could have spent that $8 on something better. Let's see, put him back. So the next models I regret buying, I got off of Facebook, um, but it is these two. Now, I do love this one, but I can't remember her name. Something Blue. Was it Bosley Blue? I love Bosley Blue, but... This is a no-go because, <laughs> I don't know, again, I don't like the, like, zero attention to detail on the Appaloosa spots. It, they're just little dots. Um, his face is very cute. However, 
Like, what is going on here with his legs? Like, for real. Like, can a horse even, like, twist their leg to the side like that? Like, do you see what I'm saying right now? Like, I know they can curl their feet under, but can they twist it, like, out to the side like this? I don't think so. But his mane is really weird. His neck is really weird. He's very bony and, like, buff or a foal that's only this little. His tail is really weird. I know foals have short tails, but I'm just... His tail in general is really weird. His leg... I don't know, he's just not cool. Alright, who's up next to be on the complain show? Pretty much every single one of my vintages I have her here by. Alright, so this guy, I only look how dusty he is. Oh my It, has it really been that long since I've messed with you? Okay, so this guy is a glossy, as you can see. So it's, like, blinding for me because the sun's, like, shining, like, directly in my face. Um, but I, the only reason I bought him was because my mom saw, we found him for $10 in the tax shop on the used shelf. And my mom picked him up and he, and she was like, oh, he looks like he's worth more than $10. So I looked at him and I was like, I don't know who he is, but he kind of does. And she was like, go ahead and pick out four or five. And because there was a bunch of other horses there too. I got him for 10. I got the old secretariat for 10. I got Bet Your Blue Boons for $10. That's Just a Dream for $10. National Show Horse for $10. I think there's another one. No, I don't think so. But that was really ridiculous and I was proud of myself. Um... But I just bought him because I thought he looked like he was more worth more than $10. Turns out he's really not that good. So, yeah, he is a limited edition, though. And there's 7 billion people in this world, but there's only 3,700 of him. So I guess that's not that bad. But for me, he's kind of pointless, and I've been thinking about turning around. So, because he's actually in really good condition. And I've been thinking about selling him. But my friend's like, no, don't sell him. Because she has a horse on this mold that she loves. But I don't like this mold. It's very not photogenic. Very not photogenic. No, it's very... It, um, it's es mi poquito photogenic. Which means it's very little photogenic. So... He's very cute. The only reason I would probably plan on keeping him for a while is because he looks like my horse, Onyx. My horse, Onyx, has a stripe, but he does not have a snip. But he has the little white foot on this same foot. But he's not brown or bay either, so... Onyx is black. I have a picture of Onyx over here. I can show it to you guys for those of you who don't know who my boy Onyx is. This is Onyx. See, kind of looks like him. The white foot and stuff. I'll put this guy back uh, while I'm at it. Let's see. Mm. Alright. And next up, who would have guessed it? So, the next model I regret buying is this Secretariat horse. The old version of Secretary. So, I mean, this is very self explanatory why I don't like this horse, I think. Um, he's very, he's got a very long neck. His legs are okay. I actually don't mind them. But he's got the most adorable face. He's pretty good, like, with his body and everything. He is also, like, very dusty. <laughs> um, but, I got him for $10 as well. I love his mane. I love his tail, his legs, his body, his head. But what's going on here with his neck? <laughs> My horse, Onyx, I try, or Prince, sorry, Prince. I tried to do a video um, with 
uh, what was this? Oh yeah, I tried to do a video with Prince in the cross ties while I was brushing him and stuff and I was trying to do like a vlog that ended up getting lost anyway. But the entire time I was trying to film, like he was coming up behind me, like let's pretend that this horse is me. Okay, so I'm facing this way looking at the camera and this is Prince. Like every maybe three minutes, this is him. He kept nudging me and I would like almost fall over. And it was really funny because he knew I had treats and he just would not give up. But anyway, I don't like him because of his neck and I feel really bad for him because he's so cute except for that. All right, we're moving up a shelf, which actually the shelf might not have any models I regret buying. I think I love every single one of these horses. Yeah, I do. All right, moving up another shelf. Um, okay, this guy. All right, so this is the, I don't know what his name is really. I think it's Heartland High Tech. So I bought this guy because he was pretty cheap. Um, he was $25 and I thought he was pretty adorable. Um, but then, he's not really. And then I was like thinking of selling him and my mom was like, he's cute. Why would you want to sell him? So I ended up keeping him. But, yeah, he's really, I mean, he's cute, you know, just, I don't know, he's got, like, his legs are weird. Mostly, all of these models I'm showing you guys, I don't really, like, regret, regret buying them. It's just because of one thing that makes me not like them. I think I love everybody here. How about up here? I think I love everybody up there. All right, we're moving. We're moving up and up and up. The freak. Okay. <laughs> How about here? Yes, you. All right, so a lot of you guys are probably gonna hate me for this because you're probably thinking you're lucky enough to have this horse. Um. So this is Vahana, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Vahana, but he is a special run from last year. Well, actually this year, but I'm already like thinking ahead like, oh, it's 2018. Let's party. But it's not. It's still 2017. So, but anyway, from this year, he's a special run. And um, he's got a pretty cute face. I just hate fat horses. Like, I, something about him I don't like. My friend loves fat, chunky horses. They are my worst nightmare. Like, I have nightmares about, like, a fat horse. Like, <laughs> why don't I have nightmares about my own horse? Onyx is so fat these days. It's Onyx and JJ are fat. It's because they're the oldest. So there's old farts. <laughs> um, but I don't know what it is about this guy. He's got kind of like weird markings like on his mouth but um yeah like can you see like the little you probably can't but there's like he's got these little dots i know what they're supposed to be because yes horses have those on their mouth but like i have a blanket here that is a like picture of a horse like a real life horse like someone went out and took the picture and printed it on the blanket and those little spots on the horse's muzzle are like super super tiny so when Briar tries to do stuff like that, it really just kind of annoys me because it's not like, literally, I don't think anyone has a tool to make a spot that, like, that small. Like, it's just not going to look right. So just why do it at all? But, yeah, I just don't like fat horses. That's pretty much the reason why I don't like him that much. All right, so this guy I love to death. Don't get me wrong. But there's, of course, one thing one thing that I don't like about him. He's also very dusty, as you can see. Um, I hate his mane. I hate it with passion. Um, I love his little face marking because I've always wanted a horse in real life with a marking like this, with the like the little like half circle in the, um, the whatever it is, with it's a striper blaze. I mean, Prince has a really cute marking too. Um, I don't have a picture of Prince in here, do I? 
He's out in the living room. I have photos of me on him in the living room. I was about to like pick up my phone and use it and be like, here, but I'm using my phone to record. But anyway, I just really hate his mane. It's really, really ugly. And I don't like these little like airbrushing marks in it. It just looks really weird. I love his tail though. I wish I knew how to braid my horse's tail like that. I would especially love to do JJ's because he's got such a thick tail. Like, oh, Phoenix, please don't fall. JJ's got like such a thick tail. It's like this, but it goes all the way to the ground. It touches the ground. Um, I don't dislike this horse. I was just using him as an example to show you what my horse's tail looks like because I don't have a picture of JJ either. Um, okay. Now I have to, if I want to show you a horse up there that I regret buying, which most of the ones I regret buying are up there because, like, they're the ones I use the least, so I wouldn't have to climb up there to get them. So, I'm going to be climbing a lot. I guess I'll go from right to left, I suppose. It's not die today. It's not die on camera. I came up here in this corner because, okay. Don't kill Secretariat, please. Secretariat is sentimental because he was one of my first priorities too. All right, so this is Nazreddin, Nazreddin. I don't know what the freak his name is, but it's this guy. Um, do you hear my dogs? Um, anyway, he's very cute. I really love him. I also love his marking. I love his markings. I love horses with markings like this and that are this color. Like, this is my dream horse to have. Well, actually, my dream horse is a Frisian, so... I already forgot your name. I'm sorry. Horsey22 or something. You're very lucky to have a Frisian, because whenever I look on, like, websites for horse Frisians for sale, they're always, like, anywhere from, like, 8000 to, like, $30,000. But, um... Besides a Frisian, because that is immediately, like, or that's immediately. The Frisian is my number one. I will not leave this earth until I own a Frisian. But this guy, like, if I never will get a Frisian, like, I really want a horse this color. Um, but Prince is this color, but I'm just saying, like, I really want, like, the white feet and stuff, because Prince doesn't have white feet. He just has the blaze. Um, but anyway, this horse... He's okay. Of course, the only reason I have him, like, if I had a choice to get him or not, I definitely wouldn't have. But since I had a ticket to get him for free, I just went ahead and did it. But I really don't like... I don't know. He's just very kind of... Actually, why did I pull you down? I really kind of like you. Well, it's just that this leg is, like, really thin, kind of. Like, his legs are really thin. Um, And I don't really like his, like forelock because it looks really kind of weird and his tail is a bit weird but it's not that bad it's what i live with um i guess put you back no please not fall don't kill secretary again all right let's me not fall I love Manor, I love Picasso, I love Patriot, I love American Paint Guy, I love Parley. I don't love... Oh, no, 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 We're actually not going to grab you because you are pretty cute. But, um, also Harley gets it might take a tumble if you jump down. Alright, so some of my fans of you guys watching, because I know some of you guys, this is one of your favorite horses. But to me, he's not that good. Um, I love his color, don't get me wrong. I love his mane, I love his tail. Actually, I don't love his tail. I love his mane, and I love his adorable face. But, I don't know. There's something about him. He's very cute. I do love him to death. But, I don't know. There's just, I don't know what it is, really. He's just kind of... No, actually he's very adorable and I kind of I regret taking him down because there's really nothing to say about him he's actually very cute 
Um, he is signed, um, from Briarfist, but actually, you know what? He can go back on the show because I don't have anything to say about him. He's actually very adorable. All right. Oh, I already just almost killed my television. Wow. All right. Um. I think we're almost. I think we have only got one horsey left. That is probably the one that I regret buying the most. Well, I didn't really buy him. He was free, but... The horse that I don't like having in my collection the most is probably this dude at. So this is... That doesn't say your name, so that doesn't really help. But this is the 2016 special... Um, not special run. Celebration horse. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. I don't know what his name was, but I like his face. I will say that. I like his face. I like his eyes. I like the position he's in, but what the heck is going on with his body here? I, uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I love like the veins in his legs. Okay, you can probably not see them, but I love the, how they have vein like details in his legs and like in his shoulders. I've noticed that Briar's been doing that a lot with their new molds where they put like indentations of like tendons and muscles and well, of course they do muscles as you can see. But like on their legs, I love that they're starting to do like veins so you can see them. Because whenever I run my horse um, JJ, like his veins like bulge out and it looks really kind of like intimidating like if i saw like like actually i love horses so much that i wouldn't care like what kind of horses running up to me with ears back and huffing and puffing but my sister would probably pass out if she saw jj because my sister has never seen jj but if my sister like saw him running up to her like all mad and stuff she'd probably <laughs> flip out jj is pretty intimidating he's kind of a brat sometimes and he's huge he's like I think he's 16 or 17 hands tall he's pretty big um, but anyway the bat of uh, the baffles the dapples on the horse are pretty crazy too sorry about the lighting still um I love his mane though his mane is very beautiful so like I said he's very like he's too skinny to me like, he's nice and thick back here, his big butt and everything, but what is going on here? Like, this is, like, the skinniest, like, girth line that I've ever seen, along with the skinniest shoulders. I don't know how this horse is even standing, really, with shoulders that thin. I don't know if it's something that has to do with the breed of this horse, because I don't know much about this breed, but when I saw the breed in real life, at Briarfest, it looks nothing like this, so I'm guessing it's not something that has to do with the breed. And it's just Briar being a bit ridiculous. I used to have two of these guys, but I gave one to my friend, and then she turned around and she was like, I don't really like him. <laughs> and I was like, neither do I. We're on board. Let's sell him. But I'm keeping him just for, I don't know. I don't know why really, but I'm going to keep one. And then I have three of them that I've yet to post on eBay. I'm sorry about you guys out there that were looking for the models for sale. Um, my mom will help me post them on eBay. Can't tell you when, but it will be soon. Definitely soon. But that concludes our, mo our Briar models. Still have to do she like. E, don't kill anyone. All right. Now to the Schleck model, so we're gonna turn this baby on around. <laughs> Did you hear my mom? Like her, her phone's ringing. She was like, "What?" Okay, so actually, let's make it. Let's turn it around to like my bed, so I can sit down and do it. All right, stand, camera, please. Stand. Actually, I'm gonna put my tripod down just a bit. You can still see me. Hang on. Let me deal with this. Let's put it over here. I have my bow and arrow on my bed too. Because I have nowhere else to put it. So. Gonna have to move it. By the way, I've been doing a lot of streams lately. Just because people have been asking me to. And I really don't. So. 
I just, I don't know where to put this. Um, I guess I put it over here. And my one little arrow, because I don't have any. Need to go to Dick's and get one. There's some more. Alright, so let me look. Alright, I think I have maybe... There's not a lot of Schleck models I regret buying. I really love all my Schleck. I feel like... I love my Schleck. I feel like... I feel like it's going to be hard to choose the ones I regret buying. However, there are some that I have some very strong feelings about, right, like, buying. Um, okay, so I see my first one. Actually, I don't. I just lost it because I have so many. Right, where are you? you? I saw you come out because you just don't want to be on the regret buying thing. Actually, I have... I'll just grab every single one up here right at the moment so I don't have to keep getting up and stuff. Um, there's you. You were a Christmas present, so it's really hard to say I regret buying you. You are not a Christmas present, and I definitely regret buying you. I love you. You're alright, but you're a bit weird, but you can stay. Definitely regret buying you because it was like 3 in the morning and I didn't know what I was doing. And then I woke up and I was like, why did I buy you? Um... I love you, I love you, I love you. You're a bit weird, but you can stay. Alright, so I've got my first handful. Alright, so... First up, this is the one I was just talking about that it was really late at night, and Mom gave me a spending limit, and she was like, go ahead and get whatever. And, um... I was about to fall asleep, so I didn't, like, I don't know about you guys, but if you're ever tired enough, like, don't you start, like, getting loopy? So, I was, and I just saw, ooh, it's a cute Appaloosa. I'm gonna buy it. And I woke up the next morning, and I was like, uh, didn't I buy something last night? And I was expecting me to have picked out something really cool, like the Andalusian or something, like that I have now, and I love him. Um, but I was expecting me to pick out something really nice, and I went on my orders, and I was like, what was I thinking? Um, when I got this horse, I did like her, but then as I've had her for a while now, my love for her is kind of faded. Um... She's pretty cute, I guess. She's got a cute face. But again, I hate the position she's in. She's got like the thinnest legs and her neck is so weird. But her spots and everything are pretty nice. Um, next one is the Trekner Stallion. So he's okay, I do like him. But he's, I don't know, he's not that good. Like he's got a weird body. Again, weird legs, really weird lengthy body, and a weird neck along with a weird face, and a weird... Actually, his mane and tail are okay. But his face is like the same like thickness, like all the way to his muzzle, and it looks really weird. His neck is extremely long and weird, and his body is so like long. I don't know. I love his paint markings, though. I love his color. His color is amazing with his like uh, yellow... Main, I just hate the mold is all. Which I have two on this mold, and I have another one that I like better, which is why I didn't include him. Oh, I forgot I have horses in my arena, do not I? Okay. Alright, so next one is not even a Schleich horse, but it is by a brand called Papo. And they are like Schleich. <laughs> They're like Schleich. They are like Schleich, and they are very good company when it comes to like really weird animals like they have tons of like dinosaurs i'm gonna actually scoot over because i'm not really in the camera frame but um i do love this guy don't get me wrong just he's kind of weird but it's a shire i think or Clydesdale. it's either shire or Clydesdale. but he's really pretty i love his color he reminds me of onyx um with the stripe except onyx the stripe is not like that um but he's again got a really weird neck and he's, I don't know, he's got, like, a weird kind of, like, I don't like it when shot like, um, I, when Shire, I don't like it when Briar or, like, any company really does eyes, like, with the white in the front of the eyes. It just makes a horse look like 
saw a ghost. But I know horses do that all the time in real life. Just like this horse is like kind of like gracefully galloping around with his head down. Maybe he's like doing a little bit of this, but he's relaxed. So why would he be looking like he would not be? So it's kind of pointless. Like the only reason the horses do that is like if they throw their head up, but like he's putting his head like down, like underneath of him. So it's just kind of not realistic. Eh. Also for my birthday, my neighbor, um, my birthday was a couple of months ago, but our neighbors um, work at this place called Bush Gardens and they have horses there. They have big shire horses that look exactly like the one I just showed you. Um, and they bought me this horsey too. He's really cute. I love him. He's so cute. It says Bush Gardens also, it's not a pen. Um, anyway, so this is the Clydesdale that I bought. And don't get me wrong, again, he's pretty cute. Just his, like, I don't know, I hate horses with short tails. Um, I forgot I had other horses in the classroom, but I don't think any of them I really, like, I don't know, never mind. I don't think any of them I was like, um, I re like, I've, I regretted buying them to the point where they're in there because I'm gonna take photos of them and sell them on eBay. Sorry about my bad hair day, by the way. Um, but anyway, he's pretty cute. I like him. He's okay, but his legs are a bit weird and yeah. Um, guys, I did see your comment. I'm sorry I haven't been reading comments. I'm gonna go back after this is done and look at them and answer some of them if anyone asks me questions. Um, cause I will be doing like a little teeny weeny Q&A at the end of this video. Is there anyone else that I regret buying? Um, I just saw a long note up there just disappear. I'm guessing it was a question. So I will, like I said, go back at the end of this video and I will look at them and answer them. If has, if there are some questions, do a miniature Q&A where I ask you guys some questions. You ask me. And I'll ask Stephanie this is done. I'm still looking. Is there anyone else? Because there's not many Schleich I regret buying. I'm going to get down here and look. I like you. I like you. I like you. I like you. I like it. Actually, I think that might have been it. So, out of my entire Schleich collection, I only dislike one, two, three, four. Four models. Alright, so now I guess it's time for the Q&A session. So, let me look at some of the comments. Alright. So, let's start back when, um, let's see. When was the last comment I saw? I love how all the, um, yeah. there's a bunch of hashtags when I was talking about the briars. Beautiful, my favorite. Yeah. That was when I was talking about Little Ricky Rocker. Um. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's any questions up here, so I guess there's only, like, one question that I saw. Alright, so I got a question. When are you going to do um, the next episode of Field of Bones? So I've been getting a lot of questions like that. Um, sorry about my dog barking. I get a lot of questions asking about where is this series, where is that series. And actually I kind of, that's the main reason I want to do this stream is because I want to talk about stuff like that and what happened to some of my other series that I've done. So, when is that going to be? That's a good question. You've actually inspired me to start working on that. It's a, like, I don't even, did I write the script yet? I don't think I even wrote the script. I forget what the last episode was. Was it like, I think it was Raven and Harley escaped and then like Harley's parents came looking for her. I think is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happened. So in the next episode, I guess, like, they got a go on a mission trying to find Harley while also trying to find Raven. I don't know. That's going to be a very interesting script to write. So I'm going to have to do that. But um, I don't know when, maybe. I'm like a busy person all the time. 
Well, I'm not busy in general. It's just called, like, my mom's too afraid to leave me home alone. So wherever she goes, I have to go with her. And she's always going places. And I do have stuff to do, like go to the farm, watch my little horse buddies. My horses are my boyfriends. <laughs> my boyfriends. No, I have to go and take care of my boyfriends. Meaning, my boyfriends have four hooves. So, um... And then I, I don't really do anything else. It's just because we're always going places. And I'm always stuck taking care of the dogs. Do you hear them mom? <laughs> so, yeah, but I don't know really what I'm not going to happen. But you've inspired me to work on it now that I think about it. Also, I know the next question yeah. is probably going to be, where's Daggers of the Past? Um, that's another series that is gonna take a long time. Um, I've been thinking about the next episode. I've been thinking about it, thinking about what's gonna happen. Because in the last step, I'm pretty sure, what's his name, runs away. The, basically, the real, like, the model, Sato, runs away from the castle. And then he shows up at Holly's door. And Ho Holly was... The King Cactus came to Holly's door looking for him. So I guess it's going to have to revolve around like she invites What's-His-Face in and um, they have to hide together or something. I don't know. That's going to be a hard ep to make. I'm going to move my tripod for it actually because you guys are like really far away. Hello. Don't fall. Okay, so next question, because I saw some more questions up there. Um, horse girl 22 who is your favorite Schleich horse? He's right over here. Mm. This guy, he's so cute. I love him so much. I don't know why, but he's adorable. His name is Q. Well, I named him Q, but he is so cute. I don't know why. He is the Tennessee Walker Stallion. So he's adorable. Um, alright, what's the next one? Who is your favorite Teddy? Um, probably on this bed somewhere. Probably Mr. Wolfie. He's so cute. I love him so much. Um, he's good luck. I take him to the farm whenever I go riding. Because my horses are pains in the butt sometimes. And um, I feel like he's good luck because he's got my old dog's collar on that passed away a while ago so i feel like he's good luck i don't know why he's so cute though um anyway um what are my dog's names riley starfire jerry and coco i had to think about that that's really stupid because i'm like well wait a minute who's so, there's too many animals running around this house to take care of which is a good thing that um my horses are out of stable. Um, ooh, what? Raven is my favorite dog. Um, I don't know. If you mean like talking about Field of Bones and stuff, but um, yes, I remember you from last um yesterday's stream. Um, I think my favorite character from Field. You know what? That's a good question. Who's my favorite character from my own series? I think from Daggers of the Past, my favorite character is going to be a character that's not been introduced yet. So, it's a secret, and you guys... I don't know if I want to tell you guys. I kind of do, actually. His name's Q! I have two horses named Q. Um, he is actually... The model is Cobra. But I'm not sure... He's going to show up as, like, a knight. He's a knight in shining armor, and he's going to be the guy that comes in and rescues Holly, and they end up getting together, pretty much. And turns out he's, like the a part of the other like a part of like king cactus's army so like he keeps coming back and getting into trouble because he keeps hanging out with like holly um who is trying to fight king cactus but they end up making it work somehow or do they i don't know um i just saw another question <laughs> i keep missing um 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 um, 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 um. Do you need any Schleich horse show names? Yes, I only have two. I have my Mustang um, Stallion. His show name is Blazing Like Blue Fire. 
And my Hanoverian stallion is the show name is Lightning Before Thunder, which are really stupid names. So, but I'm gonna keep them anyway because they sound cool. But yes, I need show names. Big time. Um. Anyway, is Q my favorite horse? Yes, he probably is. Cobra. Cobra is very adorable. I love him. I don't know if he's my favorite. I think it's a tie between actually Gigi Valentine, who plays Holly in Daggers of Past, and Cobra, who plays Q. So I guess Q and Holly are my equal favorites. Um, but yeah. I think that's it. But anyway, who's the character, for my favorite character for my series? From Field of Bones, I want to think about like who would survive the longest. Like who would, like I don't know. Who could be my favorite character? I want to say Raven because she's a lot like me. Although, like, I don't kill people. Like, she just randomly kills people if, like, she feels like she needs to, which is not me. Um. So I don't know. I think the character I'm most like, light. Like, I'm most like. I think actually my favorite character might be Harley because I'm a lot like her. Like, I'm not afraid to defend myself, but I will not just like randomly attack somebody for no reason but I will defend myself if necessary <laughs> I mean come on I own a bow and arrow so yeah, I think Harley might be my favorite from Field of Bands uh, I wonder um how many horses do you have um shoot I think I counted probably I think I counted on my last live stream but I already forgot the number I think I had like I think I have 90, 92, I think it was 92. It was either 80, it was either like 87 or 88 or it was like 92 or something. I was in that area, but I'm pretty sure I was in the 90s. I'm pretty sure it was 90, 90 something. Of Schleich. Is it the neighbors? Do you guys see the neighbors across the street? Um, I don't know, of Schleich, I'm not sure. I think I have like, no, it's probably my sister's home. Um, I think it's my Schleich, I think I have like 70. How many dogs do you have in my, how many subscribers do I have? Um, I have close to 2,000 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. Um, it's really amazing. I just thought I would be one of those amateur for life YouTubers, but instead my videos are supposedly interesting. I never would have thought that would be a thing. So thank you guys so much for making my videos seem interesting. Um, which I never did a, a 1000 subscriber special or anything, which I really regret not doing. So I should probably do that. I think when I get to doing my Minecraft stuff, though, that's when my channel will really take off. Which I never planned to do Minecraft because I was never really into it. But now that I'm into it, I want to do it. But first, I need a new computer, which I will start selling a lot of my junk to get one. And it will just be my own little personal laptop. And I will only use it for gaming because what else would I need a computer for? Um... Which, speaking of, I'm also going to do in this video a quick update to my barn in my Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, anyway, how many dogs? I forget what the other question was. How many dogs? Something. <laughs> I'll try to think of another question while you write that again. Um, I had another question that I was thinking about earlier. Like, I was asking myself this question. And it was... If I were to have any animal in the world besides horses and dogs, what would it be? I've always wanted a pet snake. I don't know about you guys, but I've always wanted a pet snake. And I still plan to get one eventually. Only reason I don't have one now is because my mom hates snakes. And she's never even, like, touched a snake. Well, she touched one, but, um, that was, that was it. And when she touched it, she ran away, screaming. And we were in like a packed convention center at a reptile expo with my mom's friend. And yeah, she touched a snake. I was holding one and then the guy was like holding one. And he was like, here, I'll hold the head, just touch it. And she did and she ran away screaming. So yeah.
But anyway, I've always wanted a snake, and I, I still do. I want a ball python. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't think I've even, like, said anything about that on my channel. Like, I know I've had videos and maybe pictures of me holding snakes, but, um, um, I don't think I've ever mentioned that I really wanted one. I've also held a baby alligator, for those of you who don't know. I'm pretty sure I never said anything about that. I didn't have a picture of me, but it's all the way in the kitchen, which is in the other side of the house, and I don't feel like walking that far. So, um, yeah, what other question do I have? Well, I guess I can just start talking about where's on my other series. Like, The Great Stallion, I don't plan on continuing that series because it was really trashy and I'm embarrassed by it. And I might, like, I don't think I'm going to delete those episodes. If you guys were wondering, I did go back and delete a lot of my videos. And I'm really mad that I deleted Broken because that video had so many views. I would have so much money if I had promoted that video, which that's something else I'll be promoting my video soon. But if I had promoted that video because it had no copyright whatsoever i'm gonna try to recreate broken i'm gonna try to make it as best i can that's something i do plan on doing in the future is doing a same movie the same storyline the same title the same characters i'm gonna try everything to see if i can get that video back up to as many views as it did it will not have any music or anything in it and i'll just try to make the original broken best i can so i can promote it because there was no copyright, so if I had promoted it, there would be no reason for anyone else to be stealing my money. That's my problem nowadays, is my videos have so, like, much, like, music in them. But they also have so many videos and I want to promote it, but it's like, if you promote this video, copyright might steal your money. And I can't, so that's why the music video, no, that you guys have been really mad about when you watched it and it had no sound is because I plan on promoting it and I really was not thinking when I did that because I was just thinking well if people have never seen it before and it's got this many views like they're just going to look at the title and they're gonna watch it and I get paid when they click on it whether they like it or not or sit and watch the whole thing but if like if it doesn't need sound because as soon as I click on that video I'm going to get money for it so there's really no point, but I'm really mad because all my fans have been screaming at me. Why'd you delete the sound? There's no sound. I'm like, I know. I shouldn't have done that. The only reason I did was because my lifelong dream of living in the mountains with my horses and having an awesome Jeep Wrangler. I need money and I should start now. <laughs> um, my mom's car is okay. It's just not in the best condition, but I do like her Ford Explorer is parked all the way up there. I was going to show it to you, but you cannot see it because it's like all the way on the side of the house. Um, I saw another question too. Um, um, do I like rats? My sister had rats, um, as pets and they were okay. And do I like dancing? Um, I, I'm gonna tape my dog's mouth shut, like for real. Um, do I like dancing? I don't really, like, if you're asking, like, would I do it as a sport? No, but, and can I dance? Not really, but is it fun for me to do? Yes, but I would not do it to compete, like, do it as a sport. I would not do that. Can I really dance? No, but when I do, it's fun, so I'm saying. I cannot sing. My voice is not good for singing, but like, if, like in general, I can sing. Like I know like a song. Like, um, what's a song that I can sing real quick? Just like a piece of it. Um, what's a song I know that I can sing? Hmm, there was a song I was listening to the other day. that I really was like into it. Am I going to Briarfest? That's a good question. I don't know for sure. It's pretty much up to me if I want to go and I'm not sure. Um, 
as you can see, my thingy back here, well, I don't think you can see, but my little chalkboard back there still says Briarfoot 2017, and I have neglected to erase it and put 2018 because I don't know. Do I have Star Stable? Yes, I do. My name on it is Amy Darkchild, and my horse is Wind Whisper, and I have not logged in, and I'd be, supply, su supply. I'd be surprised if my horse is even still alive. <laughs> but um, anyway, I don't know. My mom says, like, my mom doesn't really want to go. My dad said it would be okay if we did. My friend is dying to go, and I'd feel really bad if I went around, turned around and said, no, we're not going, sorry. And I don't know. It's such a tough question. I came up with such a good idea for a costume. I wanted to enter in the Briar showing, and I really wanted to do it. But if we go, like, if we don't go, I won't be able to do that. Is that night like gonna catch on fire, like for real? Um. But I don't know. I really, I really do want to go, but at the same time, is it worth it? Wait a minute, if my dog's gonna have surgery on her leg, by the way, because she, like, tore a tendon or something in her leg that she needs to get fixed, if she's gonna have that done, that's gonna take forever for her to recover from that. She should be up and going by then. So, I actually, I don't think it would be that big of a deal to do that. So, as a matter of fact, there's no reason why we couldn't go. We can afford it. Our cars are not in the best condition to drive that far, but we can do it. If I think we'll run a car, we can also afford that. So, like, in general, we could go. Like, we can do that. We can drive there. We can afford a camp spot. We can afford to drive. We can afford to do this and that. Just do we want to is the only thing. But I think I might go. I'm thinking about it. I really am. I really, really am. I saw another question, too. So, am I going to breakfast? Not 100% sure. How many bras do I have? I don't know. I think like 80 something. Can I do a live stream on Star Stable? That's kind of hard for me to do because I don't know how to do like live streams on my screen recorder. Best I can do is just like set my camera up and like videotape the screen. But that's not that bad, I guess. It's not really that bad to do. Um, I would do it right now, but my computer's so junked up and it's so laggy and like it's not meant for gaming and it will take forever to load and I don't want to do that. But maybe later I will do it when my sister's at work because my sister's probably going to be home anytime soon and she is always in that room. So it would be really awkward like if every five minutes she'd like come in and she'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm streaming. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's I can do that. I just not now, but I can do that. Maybe tomorrow, if what's what's tomorrow? I think tomorrow is Saturday, and I'm pretty sure she works on Sunday. So, um, if anything, maybe Sunday tomorrow or Sunday. Um. Anyway, that was the last question I saw because I was looking at the other comments. I'm gonna ride my bike up to the flippin' pet store and go buy a muzzle to shove on that dog's face. Also, I wanna show you something. I've showed you guys this before. But, well, I showed it to you yesterday on my stream yesterday. If my stream actually was yesterday, it might not have been, but I don't know if my camera's in the right position for this. This, um, GoPro. Like, I don't know if I should move it around or something. Like, it looks really funny, number one, but I just don't know if it's going to be, like, facing at my horse when I'm riding. But I think it will be. Hopefully. Um, I saw the question, do I like blue or purple? I like purple. My entire room is purple. This little horsey thing is purple. I just, like, pet its butt. I'm sorry. Pet your face. Um, and what was the other question? I do like blue too, by the way. I love blue and I like purple. I don't have many blue items in my room. Do I like goats? Yes, me and my mom both do. And we say that if we get a farm, animals we're definitely going to have. We're going to get a pig, we're going to get a goat, a sheep. Uh, is it a sheep? Is it like a sheep? Like both, like just like one, but it's also plural, whatever. <laughs> a lamb or something. And we, I want a cow. I really want a cow for some reason. And I want 
I don't know. I want a duck. That's really funny, but I want a duck. Um, what's the other question? Do I like chickens? Yes, I do. Do I like lizards? Yes, I do. I actually caught one. I caught a frog one time and kept it as a pet. I caught a lizard one time and kept it as a pet. Well, I didn't catch it, did I? No, I don't think I caught it. I tried to, anyway. Um, got that mixed up with the frog thing. I just got done saying how I really want a snake as a pet. What can my dog possibly see outside? There's nothing out there. It's so stupid. Um, I can see Phoenix the Briar. Yeah, I have him. Um, and there was another question that just disappeared. Animal, what animal, I'm just saying, what animals do I like? Pretty much every animal. There's only certain animals I don't like. For some reason, I don't really like bears that much. They don't interest me at all. I don't really like them. Um, what animals do I not like? I don't really like birds because they're just annoying. I don't really like, I don't like bears. I don't like birds. I don't like, hmm. I don't know, there's not like too many animals I dislike, but I, those are the only ones I don't like. I have a husky. I want a husky. I do. I either want a husky or a German Shepherd. What do you like best, wolves or foxes? I like wolves even though they're not around here and we see foxes all the time. There was one, like one morning that was just running back and forth chasing a rabbit out front. Um, there was also a coyote. We do have koi wolves and coyotes, but we don't have, and foxes, but we don't have wolves. A koi wolf is just like a coyote, like, coyote, um, slash wolf. That runs around here sometimes. I could tell that that one was probably not a coyote, it was probably a koi wolf, because it was a lot bigger than a coyote. Are you afraid of snakes or mouses? Um, neither really. Do you want a wolf for a pet? Yeah. I, that's my dream. I mean, in general, kind of no, because it'd be kind of hard to take care of. But like a wolf and dog, yeah, but not like a full-on wolf. And I think there might have been another question that I just missed. Do you wish that unicorns and pe Pegasus were real? I wish that... I don't know. Like, if I had to choose which one... Like, of course, it would be awesome if they were both real. But if I had to choose which one I'd want to be real more, I'd say probably I want a... Pegasus to be real because that'd be awesome if you could ride it and it could like fly that would be so awesome bye I'm sad you have to leave um I'm trying to think of questions myself that I can ask myself just wondering like if you guys wanted to ask it there was one question that I really really wanted to answer on my channel because I don't but now I can't remember it. Awkward silence. What other questions are there? I know one of them is probably gonna pop up saying what country do you live in and like what state or nation or whatever you live in. So I guess I'll just answer that. I live in Virginia in America. The land of supposedly the free. <laughs> um, if you can have three wishes, what would it be? Um, that's a tough question. Um, like I want to say like three things that I would want, like oh, a Frisian horse, a Clydesdale horse, and a Gypsy Vanner horse. No, it would be like a Frisian horse, a German Shepherd dog, and a Wolf dog. Well, actually, not jump shepherd. I really want a dingo, but that's really random. Um, but to think for real, what would I want? I would probably wish for a house out in the middle of nowhere. And my second wish would be to have my driver's license. And then the third wish would be to have a Jeep. There we go. Because I already have horses. I can just take them with me. Um, so yeah. Do you like deer? Yes, I do. And I was really upset when I watched, uh, what's her name? 
Stacy plays this video on her vlog channel where she saw somebody hit a deer and she was sitting in her car in front of it and she wasn't letting anyone else hit it and then these guys came along and they were like uh talking about well I could finish it off with my knife or whatever because she was talking about it like why are people like that but at the same time it's like do you want to let the thing sit there and suffer like my mom um my mom's friend hit a, a bear and he shot it because he didn't want to just sit there so yeah there's I mean there's a certain point where you should probably do that um but in her condition that was kind of stupid because the deer wasn't injured that bad so for the like those people to just be like here I have a gun let me shoot it um, I can understand why she was like, no, why would you do that? Because it wasn't hurt that bad. So, am I 12 or 30? I'm 12. Um, but yeah, what was the other question? I saw another one. Have you ever seen a white deer? No, I haven't. I see deer all the time around here, but I've never seen a white one. That's really weird. Um, I'm trying to think of what other questions. Who is our neighbor that leaves her dog outside 24-7 and just lets it bark? So I'm about ready to just go open the gate and tell it to run. Like, for real. That's what the thing is. That dog barks at who knows what. And then my dogs hear that dog and they bark. That's what they're barking at. This entire time, this entire video, they've probably been barking at that dumb dog. For real. I'm still thinking about the wishes. I don't know if I would really just wish for a house and a jeep. It's kind of weird. Have you ever watched Spirit the Horse? Yes, I have. I love the original movie, but I have not seen Spirit Riding Free, and I don't know if I will, because I kind of like feel like, like, I don't know. For my opinion, it didn't look that good, number one. Number two, like, I feel like it kind of like ruins the original movie. <laughs> no. Did not. I forgot I had that up there. There's like a dragonfly on the thing. I wonder if you guys can hear that dog. Do you hear it? It is so annoying. Like, I'm gonna. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I just wonder why they leave their dog outside that long. Like, what can they possibly be doing? That's my dog. But. That didn't look. I guess I can get on to the Minecraft barn tour again because I've switched up my barn. So I'll go get my tablet. Just wait a sec. Um, so, let's just go right into it, so it's going to take a while to load. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move my tripod even closer, so that way I can, like, switch. Can I turn the camera thing around? There we go. And then like point it downwards so that way I can just have my thing right here. Sorry about the glare. Alright, so Ritter for Witch Farm. So I added a dog park and I added light posts. Were you at MineCon? No, I wish. Um, no one can remember where MineCon 2014 was at. Where was it? I know 2013 was in Orlando. 2015 was in London. I'm not sure where 2016 was. I think it, they didn't even have Minecon 2016, maybe. Alright, so, what the f- Okay, it just looked weird. So, this is a light post I added. I actually got the idea from Stacy's dog craft series. She did, um, light posts like this. Or lamp post, whatever you want to call them. So, in here, I still have, um, do you wish dinosaurs was real? Yes, but at the same time, like, it would be like Jurassic Park around here. Like, people would be running and T-Rex be chasing them. 
So, in theory, yes, but no. So, I added this horsey and I named him Ribsy. Let's see, his name is Ribsy, like Ribsy. Um, and I like the fact that skeleton horses are already tamed and you don't have to put a saddle on them. He can actually jump pretty high, too. But anyway, I didn't mean to do that. Why am I still wearing that flipping elytra? I like to see horse skeleton body. Yeah, it's pretty weird, horses skeletons. I'm sure you've probably seen one. But... And how convenient his name is Zombie. Because Zombie is actually a popular horse name. Like when I was looking at horse names for my Schleich horses, like Zombie popped up like everywhere on every website. I'm like, wow, that's a really popular horse name. Um, what's your name? I forgot. Stacy. You just couldn't tell because I had a black horse in here and I thought that's who you were. All right, so there's Joey. There's Jesse, probably because she's in the corner. I didn't realize that my character's name was Jesse, so I forgot. And I named my horse Jesse, so I'm Jesse and my horse is Jesse. There's Starfire because you're the only buckskin with a marking like that. I feel like I'm missing some mares. There's Cupcake. Where's Lizzie? For real, where's Lizzie? Did Lizzie die? Because if she did, I will rage. Who are you? You're Stacy, yeah. Who are you? Lizzie, thank you. I saw another comment. What did this say? Do I have a friend named Stacy? No, I'm talking about a YouTuber who is awesome. Oh, I just hit something. Okay. So, um, here's the barn. It's pretty much the same. Um, I also added, put my horse Cyborg in the Stallion Pasture. I guess I didn't go over the Stallion's names. So there's Ritzy, you just saw her. There's Zombie. Or Zombies over there. Um, Stacy, please, yes. Um, Spirit. Will. H. Sorry about the glare. I'm gonna turn my camera, like, over this way so it's not bad. Alright, so H. Beast Boy the Donkey. And there's Cyborg right there and Grazer about the YouTuber Grazer 10. And now in the barn we go. I have cauldrons up in places for like water troughs too, by the way. If you're wondering what those are. Um so in here I moved Petra into the cyborg stall. So yeah, but everything else is the same. There's Raven. There's Q. I have a lot of horses named Q in real life and like not in real life but I mean like model horses and there's Robin everything over here is the same my only child no but my sister and my brother are 23 and 24 so yeah um also I'm wondering if I can like set up a server on here or something so you guys can come play on this world with me because that'd be awesome I'm thinking of creating my own server because Lazy M Ranch plays, and I really wanted to play with her because I think it'd be fun. So I updated these entire pastures into. Are you for real? Are you. Okay, I updated these entire pastures into a wheat field. So these horses are in wheat fields. Because there's a farm that we drive past to get to my farm, that my horses are at. And the horses are always out in the like giant, like tall wheat farm. It's really cute too. So this is Ender. This is, I'm pretty sure you're new. Yeah, Sydney, because I made two of my horses have a baby. There's Corona. There's Elytra. There's Latte, if that's how you spell it. There's Lucas. Um, no, I don't have a friend named Ka um, Kaiba. I do have a friend named Chloe. There's Ivor in the other pasture. Um, I'm gonna get up and fly because it's actually pretty easy. Like, it's easier. There's Carolina, and there's Axel, who I did not introduce in my other, um, barn tour because I got distracted. Can I show us some brown horses? I just <laughs> did a Models Are Grip on, but I can in a minute. Um, over here, what are you guys all doing here in the corner? That's Chloe, there's Ivy, and there's Soren. Um, I still have not done anything with this roof here. I... Or this thing. I'm actually going to try to sit. Like, this is probably a bad idea. My leg still hurts. Um, My leg still hurts. That was really random. But it does. It still hurts from earlier when my dog just like completely like rammed me 
in the shin with her head. Because her and her brother were chasing each other. And they weren't looking where they're going. Okay, so... This is going to be hard to do with only, like, practically one and a half hands. Okay, so this is the McDonald's area that we built in the other video. And I kind of added some signs, like, on the stairs so it looks like actual chairs. And the furnace is still there. That room is still empty, so there's no point in showing it. Um, little outdoor pastures. Uh, there's some more light fixtures. I updated the cross country course a uh, big time. Not really, but I had it, like, I got rid of that mycelium jump, and I, like, kind of, mo I moved this jump. This jump was, like, way over there somewhere, but I added it right here. It's my little brush jump. I moved this jump. This jump was, like, way over here somewhere, and I made this stronghold hold end portal jump um, with fake lava. So, it's a jump where, like, the horse, like, runs up the stairs, and he has to jump over top of it, and land down here if you know what i mean um it's on perma day by the way and that's why it's not getting night time at least i hope it is because it seems dark but anyway that's that i will get a horse and run this course i'll get a horse and run this course in a minute this little mushroom jump that was always there there's a little liverpool jump that i updated um a little bit um there's that was always there that jump was always there making you guys so dizzy i know um, here's the dog park. Um, so in here it says Red River Gorge Dog Park. So right here it says uh, leashes off before entry. Because that's a big rule at dog parks most of the time. Um, clothes. So in here, these are supposed to be like little toys. So like they have the Ender Dragon toy and a Creeper toy. Over here is our little diner kind of area, like where you can come sit while your dogs go play. And it says Doghouse Diner. I remember what I put up there. And there's like a cute little area here. But I love this sign that I came up with because there's actually a sign that we bought at a store that we put on our front door. That looks really funny. It's just like a little joke. But I put it in this thing too. Let's move my camera as being the butt. So it says... Um, what does it say? Can't read. Need some glasses. It says, dogs welcome, people tolerated. <laughs> I really love it. It's just kind of funny. I have glowstone and stuff because I plan to make it, like, a uh, night cycle or day cycle, whatever it is. So here's these little agility cores. So there's, like, a little seesaw that, of course, doesn't work. It's a little hoop jump that does not look like a hoop jump. There's... A little A-frame jump. There's a tunnel that does not look like a tunnel. And there's jumps over here with all the doggies that are not named. And then there is weave poles. And, um, yeah, there's just toys everywhere with little creepers and stuff. But that's pretty much the, um... Oops, I just opened that. But I guess we're done in here anyway. So let's go get a horse and let's do some cross-country. Open, please. But Drew, who would you do? Blah, 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 blah. Who do we want to ride? I think we want to ride. Um, uh, um hmm. Clothes. Oh, I think we want to ride. Why is my hand stuck like that? I want to ride. I want to ride. I want to ride. I want to ride. Let's ride. Who are you? You're Corona. Let's ride, I don't know, I kind of want to ride Ender, but at the same time, she's kind of slow. Um, let's ride Robin, actually. We don't ride him, well, I don't ride him that much. Do not escape, Lucas. You are not allowed in here. Because you and Robin don't like each other. I don't know, do you? I feel like you wouldn't. Hi, Rob. We're gonna ride you. Open. Open inventory, please. Okay. Settle. All right, Rob, let's go. Can I fit out here with you? Oh, 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 okay, yes, I can. All right, you're a bit of a crazy, you're a crazed animal, Robin. You're pretty hyper. Oops. <laughs> it's not what we wanted to do. Jump. I can't see the controls. All right, so let's go up here. Um... You are fast, jeez Louise. 
Let's drop this like this. I can't use strife and all this stuff at the same time. Oh, you missed. She reminds me of the cube horse race that Stacy plays did with her friends. Where they had to do a horse race, and every single time there was a jump, she kept hitting it with her horse, Stud 2, I think was his name. Darn it, you... Alright, Robin, I might go back and get another pony, because you're not being a good pony. As my teacher would say, in real life. You made it, kind of. Jump! Don't go in the fake lava. You have to stop. This is really stupid. I don't want to hold my finger down because if I do, I accidentally destroy something all the time. No, no, make it, make it. Oh, you didn't even. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta make it like he ran up and I fell off. Come here. There's only two people watching because everyone left. They say this is boring. We're boring, Robin. Or we are. Let's, uh, let's. I don't know. We're just, we're not cool. Put you back in your outdoor paddock. This is your stall, right? I didn't accidentally put you in Q's stall, hopefully. Uh, there's nobody in here, so I'm guessing it's yours. Yeah, there's Q over there. Um, You're not going to come in. You're just going to stay out here. Okay. If you say so. You are adorable. I do love you. I don't like the new Minecraft horses. Why'd they have to update them? I like the original ones. They look weird now. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's go in the tack room. I kind of updated the arena and I used um, fences for the jumps instead of bars. Let's open up the door. Our little horseshoe rug is still the same. Um, Alright, so everything else is still the same, pretty sure. I think anything else changed. I fixed the sign here. Instead of saying blankets and martingales, it says half pads and martingales. So, yeah, no, 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 no. Can I just go into my room, please? Let me in. Let me into my own house. It's not really my house, but you know what I mean. Thank you. All right. The farm actually looks pretty beautiful at nighttime, so we're gonna go ahead and make it night. Like, we're gonna have to wait for night, but we'll turn daylight cycle on. Please don't accidentally change difficulty. Always day. Nope, let's do daylight cycle as long as mob spawning is off. Okay. I just don't like to deal with mobs because, like, I don't know. They just. What is my favorite series? My favorite series of my own is probably going to be. We're just gonna sit in here and wait. Or nighttime, I guess. Um, my favorite series of my own is probably one that I haven't even started yet. Because I haven't got my line buddy to get their lines in yet. Um, which is not a problem. I'll wait. But um, it's going to be... I don't, haven't actually determined a name just yet. Like, I have a name, but it, I don't think it's a very good one. So I might change it. But it's... You'll see what it is. I, I'm going to do a trailer for it. Don't worry. Um... It has to do with Holly and Q, but it's just them two by themselves in this movie. It's just going to be like a short movie, like with only a couple episodes. Um, and then there's other, other, um, people's videos. I think my favorite is, um, probably Vengeance Rain. I don't really like Conquering Tide that much. I don't know why that one's like such a fan favorite, because it's really not to me. Um... Have I seen Sing? No, I have not. I wanna I wanted to though. Um who uh what's your favorite Morris movie? Um that's a good question. Um probably That's a really good question. What horse movies do I watch? I've never seen Flicka, I've never seen I want to say War Horse, probably. War Horse is a really good one. Mm -mm -mm. Just waiting for nighttime. What's up, Ribsy? Have I ever watched the dog? A Dog's Purpose? Yes, I have, and I love that movie. Um, 
Let's go look out at our beautiful uh, roofed forest. I actually think it's pronounced, I thought it was pronounced rooped forest, but it's actually roofed forest, I'm pretty sure. Let's go adventure just a little bit. Let's not go far though, because knowing me, I'll like lose my farm. Let's go climbing, climbing. Okay, we're up in the trees. I cannot do parkour, so this is a bad idea. To do this break. So I can jump up here. I like to try to not fly, so it's like kind of like sur like not a survival, but like I have to do this. Is the sun moving at all? Yeah, it is it's moving that way. Okay. Um Actually, you know what? I'm going to go on a quest to do something real quick. It's not an exciting quest. But there has been a rogue zombie underground in the cross-country course. And I'm sick of hearing him every time I ride past him. So we are going to try to find him. If you come over here, you can hear him. He's underground somewhere. And he's going to die today. Hear that, buddy? You're going to die. You are going to die. I hear you, yes, I hear you. Is it just like... It's not where it is. Where are you? Where's the cave at? I can't find it. Is it over here? No. I'm sick of you, dude. I'm sick of you. Oh, I found it. I have a sword, but I don't want to... Just go down in there because it's kind of creepy. Is it almost nighttime? Yes, it is. I don't want to be down here with you. Where are you? I hear you, but I can't find you, and it's really annoying. I tried to do this before, but I just could not find the dude for the life of me. He's over there somewhere, but where? Freak. Is there a spawner? Like, for real, there are too many, like, ugh, sounds. I hear footsteps. Where can you possibly be? Like, even though I'm in creative mode, I'm a very skittish person. And things, like, I'm very jumpy. I don't say I'm skittish. I'm very jumpy, so I don't want to deal with this right now. We're just going to leave you. We will deal with this later. I just, even though I'm in creative mode, I'm a very jumpy person, so when I see one, it's just like, oh no, I think it's gonna kill me, because in every, like, survival Minecraft thingy that I watch other people do, it's like, it just, like, immediately is like, oh, it's gonna kill me, but I'm like, oh no, I'm in survival, why would it? Or I'm in, <laughs> I'm in survival, why would it kill me? I'm in creative, why would it kill me? Um, let's get up, we're just waiting for night time, because this farm is absolutely beautiful at night time. Cannonball! That was really stupid. This is not a lighting glitch, by the way. I actually did that myself so I could expand my farm. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's taking a while to get nighttime. I don't want to be nighttime already. I just wanted to show the fans what it looks like at nighttime because it's very beautiful. That's my favorite Christmas song. I don't know. I'm not a Christmas song like person. If anything, they annoy me. But like my favorite one, it's one where like, um, ho, holy mistletoe hung where you can see somebody waits for. I don't know how it goes, but if I had to choose, that one's probably my favorite. Whatever, it's like whatever it's called. Um, anyway, just waiting for nighttime because it's so beautiful during nighttime at the farm. It's kind of funny. I've never been at my the real life farm that my horses are at at nighttime. Like I've been at when it's like the sun starts to set and it looks like it like looks like that. Well, I, what it, like it looks like it did a second ago when it's like the sky is nice and orange and red, but I've never been there like at full on nighttime. Your favorite time of the day in real life. Um, probably, 
probably there's the stars. Probably you. Oh, you. Hey, you can see me. So, um, probably. I don't know. Maybe. Probably like twelve or two or three, like twelve or one or two or three, like in the afternoon. But it's so beautiful at nighttime. Look at that. You can't even see because I'm in the reflection. Alright, so here's the beautiful nighttime in the farm. You still can't see it because I'm in the reflection. What do you guys think, huh? Horses. Talking to the horses. <laughs> um What's up, Robin? You still haven't gone back in your stall? That's fine. You can stay out at night time. Alright, well, it's kind of boring now. So, we are going to... Uh, actually, let's not even sleep. Let's just go in here. Um, what you call it? Just exit out because minecraft is done i just wanted to show you guys my quick update so anyway i guess i'll put the camera back up here facing at me just in case there's any more questions you guys want to ask me and if there are i'll answer them but then after that i'm probably gonna go because uh yeah Is anyone even still here? It says two people, but sometimes it's really glitchy and it just says that. And there's probably like no one here. In the in the meantime, I'm gonna see if I can play this game that I have not played in forever and see if it's still on here. I still have it on here. Oh, wait, 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 huh? No. Um, favorite Minecraft horse? I like the black horses. Um, what's your favorite dog? Uh, real dog. Um, my, one of my own dogs is Riley, probably. And, um, man, I have not played this in forever. And my, like, favorite, just... Um, random dog is probably going to be German Shepherd. So, for those of you who don't know what I'm playing, I'm playing Wild Horse Simulator. And I guess I can show it to you guys if you would like. So, turn this to favor and I will stand up my camera.